Imagine this. You're scrolling through your emails. You see an attachment. It's a PDF, maybe an invoice or a report. You download it without a second thought. But this seemingly harmless file is a Trojan horse. It carries a malicious payload ready to breach your device's defenses. This is the reality of PDF exploits, a silent threat lurking in the digital shadows. PDFs are integral to our digital lives. Their ubiquity makes them an attractive target for hackers. Cyber criminals can gain unauthorized access to your device and steal sensitive information. Android devices are particularly vulnerable to these attacks. PDFs provide a perfect entry point for malicious actors. A PDF exploit is like a booby trap hidden in plain sight. It takes advantage of vulnerabilities or weaknesses in a PDF reader application or the Android operating system itself. These vulnerabilities can allow hackers to execute malicious code when you open the infected PDF. Think of it like this. Imagine a house with a faulty lock on the back door. A burglar can easily exploit this weakness to gain entry. Similarly, a PDF exploit leverages software flaws to bypass your device's security measures. These exploits can take many forms. Some might crash your PDF reader app, creating a denial of service. Others, far more dangerous, can execute arbitrary code, giving the hacker control over your device. This can lead to data theft, unauthorized access to your camera and microphone, or even complete control over your device. The danger lies in the fact that PDFs are generally considered safe. We open them without a second thought, trusting that they pose no threat. This false sense of security is what makes PDF exploits so effective. Metasploit is a powerful penetration testing framework used by both ethical hackers and malicious actors. Think of it as a sophisticated toolbox filled with various tools and scripts for exploiting vulnerabilities. It's like a digital Swiss army knife for cybersecurity professionals and cybercriminals alike. For ethical hackers, Metasploit is an invaluable tool for identifying and testing vulnerabilities in systems and applications. By simulating real-world attacks, they can help organizations strengthen their defenses and prevent potential breaches. However, in the wrong hands, Metasploit can be used for malicious purposes. Cybercriminals can leverage its capabilities to develop and deploy exploits, targeting vulnerable systems and individuals. One of the key features of Metasploit is its vast library of pre-built exploits. These exploits target known vulnerabilities in various software and operating systems, including Android. This makes it easier for hackers, even those with limited technical expertise, to launch sophisticated attacks. Creating a malicious PDF using Metasploit is like following a recipe, albeit a dangerous one. Hackers start by selecting an appropriate exploit from Metasploit's vast library. This exploit is chosen based on the target's operating system, PDF reader application, and other factors. Once an exploit is selected, they need to create a payload. A payload is the actual malicious code that gets executed on the victim's device. This could be anything from stealing sensitive data to installing spyware or giving the hacker remote access. Next, they use Metasploit to bundle the exploit and the payload into a seemingly harmless PDF file. This process involves injecting the malicious code into the PDF structure, often hiding it within seemingly innocuous elements. The final product is a weaponized PDF file ready to be delivered to unsuspecting victims. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing disguised as an ordinary document but carrying a dangerous secret. Section 5, The Art of Deception, Social Engineering, and You. Creating a malicious PDF is just half the battle. The real challenge lies in getting the victim to open it. This is where social engineering comes into play. It's the art of manipulating people into revealing confidential information, exploiting human psychology, trust, curiosity, and fear. Hackers use various tactics to deliver their malicious PDFs, disguised as legitimate communications from trusted organizations creating urgency or fear to prompt clicks or enticing offers like free ebooks or discount coupons, leveraging curiosity and desire for freebies. Social engineering is crucial in many cyber attacks. It's the bridge connecting the malicious file to the victim. Section 6. The moment of truth. When curiosity turns costly, the trap is set. 
The malicious PDF disguised as an innocent document sits in the victim's inbox or on a website waiting to be sprung. All it takes is a single click, a moment of curiosity, and the damage is done. When the victim opens the malicious PDF, the embedded exploit swings into action. It targets the vulnerability in the PDF reader application or the Android operating system, exploiting the weakness to execute the malicious payload. This happens silently in the background without the victim's knowledge. There might be no warning, no indication that anything is wrong. The PDF might even open and display its content normally, further masking the malicious activity taking place behind the scenes. This is the moment of truth, the point of no return. The victim, unaware of the danger lurking within the seemingly harmless file, has unwittingly granted the hacker access to their device. Section 7. Breaching the Fortress Gaining Access to Your Device Once the exploit has run its course, the hacker gains a foothold on the victim's device. The extent of their access depends on the nature of the payload and the vulnerabilities exploited. Some payloads might grant the hacker remote access to the device, allowing them to control it as if it were their own. They can steal data, install spyware, monitor keystrokes, access the camera and microphone, and even wipe the device clean. Others might target specific applications or data. For example, a payload could steal banking credentials stored in a password manager app or exfiltrate sensitive files from the device's storage. The possibilities are limited only by the hacker's imagination and the capabilities of the exploit and payload. In the wrong hands, a compromised Android device can be a goldmine of sensitive information and a gateway to further attacks. Section 8. The Thin Line Ethical Hacking and Its Importance The very same tools and techniques used by malicious actors can also be used for good. This is the realm of ethical hacking, a critical component of cybersecurity. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to identify and expose vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. They operate with permission and within legal boundaries, working to strengthen security and protect systems and data. They employ the same tools as their malicious counterparts, such as Metasploit, to simulate real-world attacks and uncover weaknesses. By thinking like the enemy, they can anticipate potential attack vectors and develop effective countermeasures. Ethical hacking plays a vital role in making our digital world safer. By proactively identifying and addressing vulnerabilities, ethical hackers help prevent cyber attacks before they occur, protecting individuals, organizations, and critical infrastructure. Section 9. The Long Arm of the Law Legal Repercussions of Hacking while ethical hacking operates within the bounds of law, any unauthorized access to computer systems or data is a serious crime with severe consequences. Laws like the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act or CFAA in the United States and similar legislation in other countries are designed to deter and punish cybercrime. These laws carry hefty fines and potential prison sentences for those convicted of hacking offenses. It's crucial to understand that even seemingly harmless acts like accessing someone else's Wi-Fi without permission or engaging in unauthorized vulnerability scanning can have legal ramifications. The line between ethical hacking and cybercrime is clear. Ethical hackers operate with permission, transparency, and a focus on improving security. Cybercriminals act with malicious intent, seeking to exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or to cause harm. Staying safe in a digital minefield, practical tips for protection. Navigating the digital world is like traversing a minefield. Threats lurk around every corner hidden in seemingly harmless files and tempting links. Take precautions to reduce your risk of cyber attacks. Be wary of suspicious emails and attachments. Don't open emails from unknown senders or click on suspicious links. Regularly update your software to patch vulnerabilities. Use reputable antivirus software and keep it updated. Only download files from reputable sources. Be mindful of your online actions. Section 11, the never-ending battle conclusion. The digital world is in a constant state of flux, a never-ending arms race between security researchers and cyber criminals. As technology advances, so do the methods used by hackers to exploit vulnerabilities and compromise systems. 
PDF exploits are just one example of the many threats lurking in the digital shadows. They highlight the importance of cybersecurity awareness, the need for robust security measures, and the critical role of ethical hacking and staying ahead of the curve. By understanding the tactics used by hackers, the tools at their disposal, and the motivations behind their actions, we can better protect ourselves from becoming victims. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the digital world, it can be the difference between staying safe and falling prey to malicious actors.